we're at the Ubrolis Islands and this is a place that I've grown up on and I've spent uh, at least three months every year of my life. This is such a great place to grow pearls because the water is so clean. We can get black pearls and we can also get white pearls and we also get pearls from this oyster which is called Pateria penguin. These ones here are ready for seeding. It takes three years to grow our oysters to a seedable size. So all our shell have been bred for a sustainable industry. They have a lot of fouling. Every year we normally do a grading of them to take the barnacles off. So I just got to open these up enough for the technician to be able to put their tools in. So we are going to seed some of these but I'm also looking for the donor tissue. So we're going to cut this up into two mil portions. We normally get 30 to 40 from one oyster. That piece has to sit against one of the beads inside the oyster. So now we're setting up the host oyster. So we're going to make an incision back here. Pick up the mantle tissue and plant it in. Pick up the nuclei. You've got to be super careful because they like to sit nice and still. We can grow pearl oysters here because the warm waters from the north carry tropical species that live down here and also the Lewin current carries the cool temperate species from down south that live here as well and they're both surviving at their extremes. So this includes obviously pearl oysters, sponges, seaweeds, different species of fish and crustaceans that all live here together. The harvest time's always exciting. Oh and you can see this pearl pops straight out. So this is a, a keshi pearl, so it's all solid nacre, there's no nuclei inside. This is the traditional colour of a black pearl, the dark peacock green. Really pretty for making alternate styles of jewellery with an organic feel. So most people think of the Abrolhos Islands as a fantastic place to catch craze as well as catching fish. But what I love about this region the most is that I can go snorkeling on nearly any reef here and I'm going to see unique fish, beautiful coral, and it's all with about a metre of water or less. The amount of seabirds that live here, is there's at least 110 different species. It's quite unique and it's a really special region.